The first reading of today talks about the call of Moses. When God called Moses, he told Moses, the cry of the sons of Israel has come to me, and I have witnessed the way in which the Egyptians oppressed them. So come, I send you to Pharaoh to bring the sons of Israel, my people, out of Egypt. That was his mission. The Lord had heard the cry of his people, and therefore he sends Moses to go and deliver them. My dear friends, there are two small points there for your reflection. And the first one is, never stop crying to God. It was only God, when he heard the cry of the Israelites, then he sent to Moses. So whatever situation you find yourself in, don't stop pouring out your heart to God in prayer. Don't say, I've said it once and it is enough. Keep on praying. Keep on calling on God until he answers. The other side of the coin is that when God heard the cry of the people, he sent Moses to deliver them. In other words, you can be the answer to somebody's cry to God. Sometimes God puts us in people's lives to be the answer to their prayer. Because God will always use human beings as instruments of grace. So think of what role you play in people's lives and whether you can see yourself as someone's answer to a prayer request. Now, when God appeared to Moses, we are told Moses saw the burning bush and as he approached it, God said, Moses, come no nearer. Remove your sandals for where you are standing is the holy ground. Removing your sandals before coming to the holy ground is a sign of reverence for where you are. And friends, this still applies to our context. That God is telling us that whenever we are entering a place of reverence where he is, we need to pause and prepare before we enter the place of reverence. Metaphorically, it doesn't mean we should come with, without wearing any sandals. But for us, it's that whole act of preparing oneself to be worthy to stand before God. And if being worthy to stand before God is an act of preparation, it also presupposes that what you do in the house of God also matters. So that act of reverence you show before you enter as one that you must carry through whilst you remain in God's presence. So in our day and age, we can reflect on the many ways that we don't give due reverence to God's dwelling. What are some of those practices? Sometimes people will go for mass, they'll go to church, and they'll do everything else but for the reason why they are there. So some may be chewing gum, distracting others, distracting themselves. Others may be talking through other mass. Others also may even be using their phones at church, and it happens. Of course, if it's to follow the readings or to sing, but outside that, sending text messages, talking on the phone, doing every other thing, you want to ask yourself, am I in God's presence? And am I giving God that reverence? So as we celebrate today's Mass, as we think of the call of Moses, I have given you three points for your reflection. 
One, never stop crying out to God. Two, you may be the answer that God is giving to somebody's prayers. And three, show God reverence whenever you enter his holy place. 